Hi everyone, welcome back to another Therapy Tip Tuesday. I'm Miss Megan from the Wands Hall office, back to share some of my favorite therapy ideas and strategies. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I like to incorporate wordless picture books into my sessions to target a wide variety of important skills. Wordless picture books are told entirely through illustrations, giving children the opportunity to explore language in creative and captivating ways. They are a great tool for literacy development as they engage children, regardless of reading level, in predicting, critical thinking, cause and effect, sequencing, vocabulary, and storytelling. One of my favorite wordless picture books to use with my kids is Goodnight Gorilla by Peggy Rathman. This story illustrates a mischievous gorilla that grabs a zookeeper's keys and frees a parade of animals from their cages as they follow the zookeeper during his rounds before bed. This book is great as it can be used to target many important literacy skills and goals. One language goal that I love to target using this book is predicting and inferencing. Before moving to the next page, I like to have my kids use context clues and prior knowledge to think of what is going to happen next. For this book in particular, you can discuss what animals may be freed or if the child thinks the zookeeper will notice all of the animals following him. Another way that I like to use this book is to work on sequencing. This is where I like to introduce sequential vocabulary such as first, next, then, and last. I like to print, laminate, and cut out various animals that we see in the book and try to have my kids recall and sequence the order in which the animals appeared. Other ways that you can use wordless picture books to target language is by simply talking about what you see. So I like to have the kids I work with get as descriptive as possible. This is where you can incorporate new and old vocabulary words such as colors, animals, and verbs. This is also a great opportunity to make connections to the things you see drawn on paper and tangible items or objects within the therapy room. Literacy goals and story elements such as characters, actions, setting, problem, and solutions can be embedded throughout the book. Telling and retelling any, any wordless picture book story will fit in with any story grammar goal that you would like to target. Another important area that can be targeted using wordless picture books is fluency. You can work on developing the story using the pictures while implementing and practicing fluency shaping strategies. So for example, you can practice pacing and a slow rate of speech as you watch the story unfold picture by picture. Lastly, you can target your child's speech sounds in all word positions with pictures that come up throughout the book. So for example, Goodnight Gorilla is a great story to practice those back of mouth sounds, K and G, as there are countless opportunities and words such as key, gorilla, cage, tiger, and lock. These are just a few ways you can use wordless picture books to target your child's speech and language goals. There are thousands of books out there to choose from that are perfect for any of your child's interests. The best part is that each one is compact and offers an endless supply of communication opportunities. Okay, that wraps up today's Therapy Tip Tuesday. I will see you all next week when I share some more of my favorite therapy ideas and strategies. Bye!